Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video that I'm going to try to do here at Starbucks as it's starting to rain. I'm trying to stay off the road while the street sweeper's coming, and I was going to try to get some work done here. And then I was thinking to myself, I'm myself, let's do the next video in the self-sabotage series. Whereas my self-sabotage might be sitting at a metal table during the rain. So we'll see how that goes. There are two things that I want to talk about today, and they both start with the letter D. So the two things are discouragement and distraction, the, the double Ds. Typically, the things that discourage us are not even big things. They are very, very small things that we take way too personal and like way too internalized. Okay. Let's say you are excited to put out your new book and you do a post about it on Instagram or Twitter or wherever the fuck you go. You don't get a ton of likes on it and you don't get people completely losing their shit over the fact that you're going to put out a book. Instead of you just going, oh, well, I guess I need a little more excitement for my posts. You say, nobody wants to read my book. I'm not very good. And that's not at all what has happened. And that's not at all what anyone was trying to make you feel like. But that's how we take that. So when we hear these things that aren't somebody telling you an exact thing, we add all of the other things. We fill in all the blanks to make it sound like there is actually something that these people are either upset about or that they think very minutely of what the fuck it is we're doing. Okay? So there's one. Another one might be something like you get your like poem accepted in a magazine or an online journal or something. And you're like, oh my gosh, dude, my followers are going to skyrocket. My book sales are going to go up, all this other shit. The journal comes out, you post about your poem, not a whole lot of engagement, but you also notice that you're not really gaining any followers. You notice that your book sales haven't really gone up at all. And then God for fucking bit, you lose a follower on whatever social media thing you're on. And then you automatically go, oh, well, I lost that follower because they didn't like my poem. And they're, they're done. All this other shit. All this other shit is small potato shit. You will not even remember, like, what you saw to make you so upset in a week. Okay? But that one little thing is going to be enough for you to tell yourself that you shouldn't be doing this thing anymore. Okay? Okay? And that is where we are sabotaging our shit. Okay? That's all in our head. That's all us. Some of us might even be a little more... Um, I don't want to use the word crazy, because that's kind of fucking harsh. But some of us might be a little more along the lines of... You wrote something, and you weren't really feeling good about it when you wrote it. You're just like, well, this is what it is. And then you say that horrible phrase that nobody should ever fucking say. And you say, well, I guess I just don't have it anymore. I guess I'm just not that good. It's so fucking depressing. I hate when we do this shit to ourselves, guys. It's awful. None of us like it. So basically, don't do this shit to yourself, okay? Think of it like this. Like, if you read poetry... I'm sure there is a poet out there that you really like and you get a collection of their work and you read it and there's a, a few bangers in there that you love and then every once in a while you'll read a poem and you're like, God damn, that really wasn't that good. And you're just like, hmm. But the only thing you do is turn the page and read the next one. Or if it's a short story collection, okay? Like, you read all these really good stories and then you'll find one that just isn't that good. 
but you never say to yourself after reading that one that isn't that good, oh, this writer doesn't have it anymore. They should stop. When stuff like this happens, okay? Now, I don't want this to be a pick yourself up by the bootstraps kind of thing. Because if I'm honest, I don't even know what a fucking bootstrap is. All right? But it's more of a thing where, like, whenever you feel like that, whenever you feel like you're done or something, the only thing you can do is either step away for a minute and just don't worry about it. And then the next thing you do is start again and just start writing something new. Just get yourself back up on the horse. One thing that I think is really healthy to do as far as um, like your follower count, your email list, growth, and all this other shit is do not look at it every day. The best thing to probably do, I would say a month, but more likely than not, it'll probably be easier to do this if you just do it every week. But I would say do it every month if you can do it. And once a month, you look at what your numbers are. And then don't look at that again. Write those numbers down so you remember what they are. And then go back the next month and see if there's growth, if there's stagnation, or if you're losing people. And then think about like, okay, so what are things I can do to grow this? Because just so you know too, stagnation is just like losing people. You always want to be growing, okay? So instead of getting down on yourself about why you're stagnant or why you're losing, just think about how you can grow and make a list of ideas you have to make your shit grow. And then for the next month, focus on that thing. So now the, the next thing here is getting distracted like I am right now. So distractions. So like most of these things here are like things along the lines of social media for sure. The thing that I am going to recommend everybody do okay, is making a list. I'm big on lists. I love lists. Lists are the coolest things ever. So um, just make a list of like every day are you on social media and if so how long are you on that um every day are you watching my videos <laughs> and if so how long are you watching those um something like that think about too like with like the people in your life the people you surround yourself with or the leeches the people who just like come by and suck your fucking soul out um, when i lived in north hollywood I lived in this court every fucking day, many times throughout the day. I would be working, I'd be just sitting at my computer typing, and motherfuckers would just walk into my house. Because So it got to the point where um, I, I was like complaining about this shit and everything. And one of my neighbors got me this like neon sign to hang in my window. And I can't remember what it said. It said some shit. I, I don't remember exactly. But um, it said something, and the deal was, if I had the sign on, it would tell everyone in the building and in the court um, not to fuck with me because I was doing shit. And then people stopped paying attention to it because after a while, I started just leaving it on. <laughs> And then they started noticing that, like, they would walk by and look in my window and just see me chilling. And um, the light was on, but I wasn't working. And so then they just kind of gave up on that, too. But for a while, it was a really good idea. But you need to make sure that the people in your life know that you have shit you have to do. And if they care about you, they will give you the space you need to be able to do these things. Another thing I would say habits and in the anarchy crew videos um, we talk about this a few different times about um, habits and rituals 
can a lot of times um, we have habits that take us away from what it is that we're doing okay now with that said making a habit only takes like 30 days okay and if you do something every day for 30 days your brain is very it's very easy for your brain to like make sure that you continually do that thing so if any of these habits that you have keep you from pursuing your dreams then you have to decide oh shit do i need to actually break these habits and then that's a whole other fucking thing we're talking about here now some of you might be going how does this have anything to do with self-sabotage here's the deal if you are spending too much time on social media that is you fucking yourself from doing the thing that you need to do. If you allow people to come into your space and keep coming in and spending time with you and distracting you from what you're doing, if you allow this to happen, that is you self-sabotaging the shit you need to do in order to get your shit done. Okay? And if you are, you have certain habits that keep you from getting your work done and you don't do anything about it that is you self-sabotaging yourself so like i said before what you need to do is make a list okay and now this list is how often are you on social media because your phone will usually tell you at the end of the week like you could set it up to tell you how much screen time you're using okay and then it'll even tell you like what apps you're using that fucks you up on that. Um, another thing is make a list of the people who either call you, who text you, who show up at your house, whatever, who are always needing your attention. Make a list of those people and write down how often they're doing this and how much time is actually spent with these people. And then depending on what your habits are, do the same with that. Look at all this stuff and add up how much time that is and actually visualize how much time you are fucking yourself out of getting your work done. And that number should astonish and shock the shit out of you, okay? Once you do that, you need to figure out ways to cut that shit back. And even if it's a thing where there's just one day a week where none of these things can affect you, like no phones, no nothing, no people, no shit, then just start with that. It doesn't have to be huge strides, but you need to give yourself a fighting chance to do the things that you want to do, okay? So if you have any like uh, thoughts on this or ideas or um, things that I may have missed in this, um, or if you just want to share the things that are distractions and the things that discourage you, leave it in the comments down below. And um, I think we're gonna do one more of these self-sabotage videos, at least for the time being. And then we'll all be done, okay? So, um, type out everybody, keep buying my books, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.